Hi everyone! Oh my god, it's been forever. I swear it's been like three weeks and I honestly apologise. I have been really busy with uni work and just kind of wrapping my head around this project. And yeah, and I also noticed I hit 100 subscribers. I'm so thankful to all of you. I highly appreciate it and it honestly motivates me to like do my work and carry on doing what I'm doing. Anyway, today is Saturday and I kind of just wanted to kickstart this off with just kind of talking through what my project is and what I'm doing. I honestly don't know where I left off with the last one, but I am creating a webtoon for my band member characters things <laughs> and it's going really well honestly i did a whole storyboard i will i will insert a clip of me doing it so the storyboard was just very basic you probably won't see this but it was very basic i wrote like a little short story on my laptop and it was a really cute story and I am still using it um, as sort of like the bare bones of this story and then I took it into long strips um, sort of like in a webtoony way of like how you would read it but these strips aren't the same size as an actual webtoon layout um, and I'm thinking of also doing a like just a one-off video talking about how I set up my webtoon and how the kind of like how I went around it um so yeah I uh did a lot of research and reading of web comics and just kind of seeing how they lay out it <laughs> how they lay out their story and their storytelling and yeah so this is how i came up with all of these and then what i did with this after i kind of planned out the story i suppose i went onto my ipad i went onto my ipad and created i'll show you in a bit but I created a bigger storyboard, kind of more matching the layout of an actual webtoon of how he would read it and the sizing and all of that. And then what I did is take each segment as this kind of lines going down it. So each section, I took it into its individual um, canvas and then I started to kind of go down it. This is the point where a lot of it changed. Um, most of my sketches, my doodling, whatever, is kind of towards here. But at the same time, while I was drafting it out, I was changing the story. Uh, not the story, but like how it all flows together. And then I did that again on sort of individual ones, just to make it feel more flowy and just make it make sense a little bit more instead of it being like a literally like a comic strip type thing where it's kind of chopping um so like you'll have one camera angle then you'll have like close up and then sort of that but it was kind of more a web comic is a little bit more has more transitions i suppose so smoother transitions but yeah, it was really fun to do. All I'm doing is getting into the more detail of the webcomic. And then as I go on, I will adjust things and stuff like that. So basically this week, starting Monday, which is gone, so today is Saturday, like I said, I wanted to get my first panel done. Meaning uh, the first panel, the first strip like completely done because that was sort of my deadline from my tutor which is completely fine but like as I was doing it a lot of things changed so 
my first panel is different uh, which is honestly okay I am wanting to change the background on the top two panels that I have um, I will show this later on um, but sort of a sneaky tip I use the sims to create a background um, and I've seen a lot of other webcomic artists do this and then they kind of draw on top of it or add filters to kind of make it more backgroundy and so what I did was make a lot in the sims and I'll show you later on I am um, as I said I need to redesign the background so I can show you the process of that <laughs> Here we are this is what i built and it was kind of inspired by a hongdae busking zone obviously the shops are not exactly the same as i just used pinterest and just looked up random coffee shops in korea so it's obviously not going to be like the best accuracy that you get in hongdae but um it's just really cute so this is mm, so this is just like a little cafe all of them are kind of just cafes this is like a cafe with like a greenhouse on top which i thought was just so cute um but yeah this was so fun to build and it was kind of tricky because like i was figuring out what to do where to put things and all of that kind of thing and um there's also like a little tabuki stand over here which is just like so adorable um if you want more of an in-depth uh, video of like how I did this and things then let me know down below and I'll try and figure out how to do that I went to Bristol on Tuesday <laughs> I have to think about that so yeah that the Bristol trip was just to go to Jamaica Street Studios to go talk to some illustrators and it was surprisingly really fun and inspiring it was really nice to talk to some illustrators we spoke to William Grill as well as Dave Bain and both of their Illustrate both of their illustrations are like so nice and I was kind of excited to talk to Dave Bain and kind of get his insights on things and yeah so then we went to like different galleries around Bristol and again this was my first time going to Bristol and yeah it was really fun. I went on the train because 
the coach was leaving from the uni, meaning I would have to walk an hour to uni and then an hour back. Or if I cycled, then I kind of worried about my bike being at my uni for so long and it would have been dark by the time I got home and I didn't want to cycle in the dark so I just took the train. It's closer to take the train station for work from where I am. So it was really nice and then I got to go home a little bit earlier than everyone else because yeah <laughs> so it was really nice the day trip um and going around Bristol and just going to galleries and things like that and yeah so I guess in this clip I'm just finalizing the first panel of my webcomic I changed quite a lot of things from the previous sketches and the drafts of what I've done with the webcomic but I really love how this I really love how this first panel came out and now I have to just dive into the rest of it and get it done before the end of term which is in like three four weeks so but I, th I think I can do it if I just keep like concentrating and do it but like the annoying bit is like I do come out of the concentration easily which is not a good thing and then it's hard to kind of get back into it um mainly it's it's it i don't get out of it easily it's just if someone distracts me then it's hard to kind of get back into that flow like if someone calls me and then it interrupts my flow and then it's like oh no i need to like <laughs> you know um it is quite annoying to be honest <laughs> but yeah so I was just I was this was kind of weird the way that I did this this panel um I started with the tones first and then went over it with color I don't know like I these are just random people these two people the dancing and the singing person and I didn't really know what they were going to wear or what colours so I just started with the tones first which was okay which was an okay idea I mean I don't see why not but and then the style that this kind of develops into is going to be different from the rest of the comic which is completely fine because I have justifications for that <laughs> this is kind of more of a I guess more of like a rendered style for my newest style and more dramatic and i was kind of saying like in mangas they usually have like a colored version in the beginning say if you're reading online or something and then changes to black and white in a more simpler style and that's kind of what i was going for as this first panel was just creating that sort of dramatic effect and yeah these are just random people so they don't have many features on them either Anyway, I'm actually going to wrap this video up here once this video is finished. Um, but yeah, I hope this was a really nice sort of quick update of what I've been doing. Obviously, again, I apologize for not uploading that much. It's because of this. Like, it's so counterintuitive and it just takes a lot of my time and it demotivates me to actually record things. So I'm not sure when the next update will be and I'm not going to promise anything. So it kind of is when and if I feel like it. <laughs> but hopefully after all of this is done, I can kind of go back to doing weekly uploads and like my ideas for after I graduate and all of that kind of thing. Um, because obviously in Easter, I'm going to be spending a lot of time away and I may or may not have enough time to record things, which is completely fine. Even if it's just like a speed drawing or something, I might upload it, but it's not going to be like this studio vlog thing. Um, and I might talk through my process of how I created a webcomic and that kind of thing. And how I use, and how I use The Sims to do backgrounds and things like that. But anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. And I shall see you in the next one.